Oh, I'm so very honored and excited to meet you. So nice to meet you as well. Okay. Let's go right to your childhood, Winnie. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> okay, when you were four, you were diagnosed with an autoimmune condition, uh, vitiligo. Mm -hmm. And what was your life like when you were a kid? What was your family like? What were your feelings? Who were you at four years old? At four years old, I was a really happy child. And I think that's because my family was so loving and so supporting and so, um, they had such a will to make sure that I felt normal and felt like my differences were a, a very important part of who I was. When I did first get vitiligo, my mom was, um, she was worried, you know, it was something that she hadn't heard of before. So I remember her bringing me over to my grandmother and my aunt and lifting up the back of my shirt and being like, look, there's a new spot on her back. And my grandmother was like, you can't do that to her because she's going to feel like her differences are something that's negative and that's not right. She has to grow up knowing that all the things that make her her are valid and are beautiful and that's how you make her feel important. Well, I love hearing that too because I as a parent am learning on the job. Mm -hmm. I think we probably all are. And mm -hmm. what a blessing that your grandmother had such awesome wisdom for your mom. For sure. It's so important, I think, today, especially with social media and so many outlets for kids to go to to learn or watch things, I think we forget that the most important place for children to learn is at home. What parents teach their kids and enforce in their kids is so important. Well, you've been a real force on social media. And ironically, I heard you were sort of you know, tentative to put yourself out there at first. And now you're one of the world's biggest supermodels. <laughs> what, how does it go from like tentative putting toe in the water to being one of the most famous beauties on planet Earth? <laughs> Stop. It's true. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. No, I, I think it was just because it was something that was new and anything that's new is kind of scary. But when I realized that people were so um, excited about me putting myself out there and the the way I felt about myself and how I felt like I was beautiful and I wasn't going to let someone else's opinions get me down and that encouraged others to do the same. I was like, you know what? If it's inspiring for other people, let me continue. Let me just be out there because everyone goes through something. Everyone is different, which is what makes us all the same. So I have this thing where like, People always want to be normal, but like, what is normal? There's this idea of what normal is, but everyone's normal. You have freckles, that's normal. You have brown hair, that's normal. You have green eyes, that's normal. You have brown eyes, that's normal. All these things are normal. I mean, do you want to have kids? Because I think you should be basically a parent to us all. <laughs> I do want kids, but not right now. <laughs> I mean, I think that when you talk about how we all have this shared common experience, to hear you talking about that, I think it, I just, I look forward to my daughter's, you know, learning and experiencing life through your eyes and your Thank wisdom you. and your words, because I think they're very, calming and healing and yet really inspiring and energizing at the same time. Thank you. I think that's because I don't take myself too seriously and I understand that I'm a human. Like I don't, I always say I don't believe in role models. I don't believe in putting anyone on a pedestal to say this is who I should be like, but I do believe in pulling inspiration from everyone. No one's perfect. People are going to make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. And while I love that people pull inspiration from me, I wouldn't want to be anyone's like at, um, role model or put up on a pedestal because I know I'm only human. I don't know, Winnie. I'm getting superhero <laughs> vibes. I'm no. hearing superhero <laughs> wisdoms. And even, even superheroes have their kryptonite. Yes. They absolutely do. In fact, mm -hmm. superheroes are incredibly flawed. I'm trying to think inside like what my kryptonite is. Do you have a kryptonite? Uh, my kryptonite is 
Maybe, like, I'm, I'm from the hood, so sometimes I just like to get, like, real street with it and just say what's real and what's on my mind. Sometimes I need a little filter sometimes, so, yeah. Not having a filter sometimes is my kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like your kryptonite. I'm into your <laughs> kryptonite. I feel like I want, like... I want more of your street no filter. I'm already right. loving the body language of it, and I'd like to hear what comes out. I'm not going mean... to lie. Maybe we can throw down sometime because I'm like, oh, I want in. I want some of, like, Winnie's no filter. Yeah, come, come, come to a party with me, and we'll, we'll vibe out. Well, Winnie, you are making me feel alive again. <laughs> I used to go to parties. For Winnie, sure. Will you please take me to a party? I have been 100%. in mom mode for so long. Like, Listen, and then when I finally have kids, then you can help me out there as well, because I know I'm going to need tons of help. Yes, I can. <laughs> and I, too, will always be encouraging for us to not take ourselves too seriously, for us to promote strength and humor and humanity. Yes. 